One of Burlington's iconic locations is getting a makeover. It's a facility that we're taking what was our existing facility, the, the existing Joseph Brandt House, and adding 13,000 square feet below. Burlington Museum's Foundation Chair John Doyle says the expansion will make better use of the museum that was built in 1942. The 13,000 square feet is going to allow us to bring in traveling exhibits and also to be able to display the, uh, the huge costume collection that the museums have but we're not able to display because of the limited space that we had before. Doyle says this project has been on the radar for 25 years. Now that the timing is right, the museum expansion has received nearly $9 million from all levels of government, with the foundation making up the remaining $2.5 million. Our commitment is $2.5 million. So far we're at about $1.7, so our, our goal for 2018 is to, uh, is to raise the last $800,000. The construction going on behind me is actually very elaborate and it involves moving the replica of Joseph Brandt's home around multiple times throughout the area to make room for the new gallery. One of the key challenges was we have to take the Joseph Brandt house, which is uh, it's a historical, well, it's a historical figure, a historical uh, uh, landmark in Burlington and move it off its existing site, which has been done. And in fact, they've had to move it two or three times to accommodate the uh, uh, construction, the various phases of construction. And then within the next two months, they'll have to move it back on top of uh, the new facility and reposition it. So I think for the project team, that's probably the biggest challenge is just maintaining the integrity of that building, positioning it back on its proper place so it'll sit on top of the new building and, and overlook the lake uh, as the, the Brandt House is intended to be. Residents don't have long to wait to see the expansion come to life. The exterior will be done by October this year, so people will be able to come by and actually see what's been created here, which I think people will be very impressed and there'll be a wow factor to it, to see what we're creating here. And then through the winter months, uh, the interior space will be completed uh, with an expectation that probably around July 1st of next year we'll open the gallery. For Halton News, I'm Natalie Stoberman.